Uh, but so far, uh, we see that we have the confidence that our momentum will continue. Uh, first of all, in Hong Kong, uh, we see our growth uh, in the interim is about 8%, and there's also including 3% of the uh, comparable store uh, sales growth. Uh, in fact, we've been working on uh, a lot of uh, new product offerings, uh, for example, the afternoon tea menu, which has been also increasing the uh, overall traffic in the afternoon, uh, afternoon segment. So we'll continue to have a new product offering in different time periods to drive the sales. So uh, this is also uh, to face the challenge with uh, the people outbound traveling and consumption. Uh, but we are relatively, we are a uh, comfort food and we actually uh, a day-to-day -day food. So we have been less fluctuating with this uh, kind of uh, uh, traveling pattern. So uh, for the outlook, uh, we have confidence, as I said. Uh, so Hong Kong will continue to with our comparable sales growth and also we were still looking for openings. At the same time, we have also narrowed down our losses uh, in the overseas. We have been entering into the overseas like mainland Singapore, has, as you mentioned, like two years back, and then we gradually are uh, pacing up the uh, overall turnovers. Uh, especially when we are looking into the uh, situation, uh, we can see that the set operation has been stabilized, although there are challenges in different countries, mm -hmm. but uh, because of the uh, openings and also because of the uh, improved perform performance in different uh, countries, the, sales, uh, the, the losses are narrowed. So this momentum will continue. Over in China, we're seeing lots of competition, and what competitors are doing is they are offering substantial discounts. How are you managing in this market together with a softening Chinese economy? Yeah, we, when we notice the, uh, the economy has been softening, uh, initially there, there's a surge, but uh, what we are seeing is a mixed performance in different cities. So we have shifted our opening plan to, towards the uh, Guangzhou and the Tier 2 cities, and it has been performing quite well. Uh, whereas in the tier one city like Shenzhen, it has been softened uh, due to, uh, I, I believe this is also the uh, economy transition where there are a lot of uh, layoffs in the tech industry that has definitely uh, affected the spending. And that's why there's a lot of food and beverages offering huge discount to draw the traffic. So what we have done is also having some, uh, uh, some discount and uh, value offering to continue to drive the traffic and as well as uh, we're working on the branding uh, because we also would like to enhance our overall brand presentation and brand story to tell the good story from Hong Kong to mainland China. This is what we've been doing.